Hi, this vlog, that is video blog, is, <clears throat> some might feel, fairly technical. But I'm not making any apologies for this at all, because what I'm going to talk about I think is very important. This week, the Royal Institute of Navigation put on a, a, a lecture, really, uh, in the evening, and the speaker was the navigator of the Volvo boat that piled up on the, on the, on the reef in the recent event. He told us what had happened to the boat and, and how it was that, uh, that the navigation system had apparently let them down and, uh, and the boat had piled up. And what fascinated me about it was exactly the same thing happened to a cruising yacht, oh, I don't know, a couple of years ago now, I should think, it might even be more. Exactly the same mistakes were made and it seems that nobody's learnt these lessons. Far be it from me to criticise a Volvo race navigator. These guys are stratospheric. What they know about navigation outstrips what I know as a mere Ocean Yacht Master examiner, probably by five to one. They are seriously good at what they do. And yet, under the pressure of careering along at 15 or 20 knots with water all over the boat, this mistake had been made. Let me tell you what happened. The nature of a vector chart on a chart plotter is such that when you see it at oceanic scale, there's very little detail on it at all, in fact really nothing. A lot of islands don't even appear. As you zoom in and get closer and closer, things start popping up. And finally, at very close range, the last items pop up and you see everything there is to be seen. Everything that's been surveyed and everything that you would find on the, on the best scale paper chart that's available. Now, the issue is, who decides what's going to pop up? and when, as you start layering into the chart? And that is the question that has to be answered. It seems it's the cartographer who makes these decisions, but the cartographers who are working with vector charts are not making the same decisions as the men who are working with paper charts and their raster equivalent. You'll be aware that a raster chart, a raster scan electronic chart, is basically a scan of a paper chart. It looks exactly like a paper chart and it's got exactly the same data on it. And if you haven't got enough detail, you effectively pull up the next paper chart and so on until you get the last detail that's available. That's how it works. With a vector chart, it's all on one. You click away, zoom in and things start popping up. Most people seem to prefer that as a way of doing business, and um, if that's what people want, well, that's probably going to be the future. But what's happened here is, the yacht was barrelling along, the chart was not zoomed in tightly enough, and as a result, the rock and the reef which they hit never appeared on the chart, and they didn't think it was there. They found out subsequently, of course, for the hard way that it was, and zooming in on the chart revealed it. But at the, at the zoom level they were using, for routing purposes, it never appeared. I was involved in a case, I say, two or three years ago, involving a cruising yacht, which had exactly the same experience. The gentleman driving the yacht was convinced the rock was not on the chart. It was, but you had to zoom in very tightly to get there, and he had made his decisions based on a passage plan run on that chart, which had not shown up the rock. When I received the brief for that particular incident, I looked immediately at my raster chart because I didn't have a vector chart or not the one he was using for the part of the Pacific where he piled up. Uh, this is not the Volvo boat, this is the cruising boat. I put my cursor on my computer onto the exact spot where he'd piled up on my raster chart, the equivalent of the paper chart of the whole Pacific Ocean. And the reef was there right under my cursor and it was named. So if he'd looked at his paper chart, he would have known the reef was there and he'd never have hit it. And if he'd looked at a raster chart, he'd have been OK too. The same thing happened some years later to this Volvo boat. And you, it, it really does... You have to ask yourself why this is being allowed to happen. It's not for me to blame the navigator, but you have to ask yourself about the charts. And people using these charts must be aware of this, well, potential shortfall in the information that they're extracting from the chart. The information's all there, but they're not getting it. Well... I think, that's the, I think that's the message, really. I think that's the blog. If in any doubt at all, don't plan a passage on a vector chart without checking first with either a raster chart or a paper chart of good scale to make sure that the man who layered the vector chart isn't leading you into terrible temptation.